Hello everybody. Thanks again for visiting my YouTube channel. This is the place where we discuss the Lord's Recovery Movement of Witness Lee, also known as the Local Church Movement. I got a request from a listener to talk about the subject of accountability. This listener said that someone close to her said she needed to be a member of a church in order to be accountable. I wanted to talk about this in light of the Lord's Recovery and also in light of their teaching and the general teaching about accountability and covering. Now, the Lord's Recovery, I don't know if they use the word accountability, but they do use the word covering. And by covering, they mean there's somebody in the church that you consider a covering. And this is some kind of shepherd or leader that you go to with your questions and they guide you and they protect you from, I guess, making your own decisions foolishly. One of the things I remember they taught was that single women should find a man, a brother, that can be their covering because women should be covered, or so they taught. So this dovetails with the idea of accountability. There is a idea in the church at large about accountability. In general, it just means you're accountable to someone. Specifically, they mean a lot of times that you need to have a, an accountability partner or partners, people that can check with you about how you're doing and they can help keep you on track. I wouldn't say this is a bad idea, generally, to have people in your lives that you go to and discuss things or they call you up and say, how you doing? Or it's just the principle of community and there are verses in the Bible that say things like iron sharpens iron, a threefold cord is not quickly broken, and the idea that we are better together often than we are apart. The interesting thing about the word accountability in the Bible, if you look up verses that talk about being accountable and being held to account, they're almost always talking about before God. We are accountable to God. We will stand before God to be accountable for our lives. That is, in multiple places, the verses I've seen have that particular emphasis. I don't see much that says the idea that we need to be subject to someone in the sense of being accountable or them covering us. There is the verses, of course, about submitting to your leaders and obeying your leaders and that kind of thing. But I've said before that that is circumstantial in the idea of if you are in a group, then you should honor the leadership there. But you don't necessarily have to be in that group. If you're in a ministry, you should honor the leadership there, but you don't necessarily have to be in that ministry organization. So uh, accountability in general is a good thing. But they can take it too far. I know that there was a kind of a movement in the church, if you want to call it a movement, where people would get together and I saw these cards they'd carry in their wallet and they had like five or six questions on them. And these were the questions that these guys would ask each other when they'd get together over coffee or a small group meeting with their accountability partners. The questions would be like, did you look at a woman with lust this week? Did you steal anything? There were these general moral questions. And the last question was, are you lying when you report this? So I always thought that was a little bit severe in the sense. I don't know too many people that actually do it. And I didn't want to do it just because I feel like it's a little too personal. And frankly, I'd probably flunk the test every time I took it and it would get boring. But in general, it's not a bad idea. But the question is, do you need to belong to a church? Or do you need to join a church to be accountable? This is what this person was told. The Bible tells us don't forsake the assembling of ourselves together. I think that's clear. I think we do need to have associations with Christians. But do you need to join a church to be accountable? I don't know if that's the way I would put it. You need to be in a community of Christians in some kind of way to just grow and go on. That's the way God did it. But to be accountable, do you need to join a church? Do you need to go to every meeting? Do you need to be all in in that church? I think it's up to the individual. The suggestion I would give about this is I think it's a good idea to meet with Christians. And if you can't join a church, what I always suggest is usually most church services these days have a time of worship at the beginning and then usually a message. 
And a lot of people go mainly for the message. A lot of times they show up a little bit late, they might want to sing one or two songs, and then they're ready to hear a message. That's the way a lot of people are. Actually, I would suggest the opposite. I would suggest if you have to choose between the two, I would go for the worship. And if you don't feel to stay and listen to the message, then just leave then. But it's hard to go wrong with worship, and I find that it's very helpful to do that. It's good to worship the Lord with a group. So that would be my suggestion. Start there somewhere. But as far as having to join a church to be accountable, I don't think that's really necessary. Uh, you can see where I'm going with this. I'm trying to keep it general and away from extremes and drawing lines of saying you must do this or you are off or something like that. The Lord's recovery, though, had this concept of covering, which was another way they control people, which was you need to be covered by somebody. You need to have a covering shepherd. And actually, the shepherding movement that started back in the 70s was real strong on this, and they taught this. Because basically, the shepherding movement said, everybody needs a shepherd. And that's true, everybody needs a shepherd. But the shepherd should be Christ. The shepherd should be Jesus. You do not need a human shepherd. There's an article on a website. The address is deceptioninthechurch.com slash covering.html. And I'm not sure I recommend everything on this website, but I like this article because it gets to the point of this idea of shepherding and having a shepherd and being accountable to a shepherd goes to the root of the extremeness of this idea. One of the statements by one of the leaders of the shepherding movement, he said, we are protected by the authority to which we submit. Unsubmitted, we are unprotected. Well, I'm not sure the Bible teaches that. I don't think it does. And the question is, what if the person you're submitted to is messed up? Are you protected then? So this is one of those kind of statements that sounds good on the surface. And if you're kind of gullible, you might go for it. But it's really not biblical as far as I could tell. The Bible over and over again says that we know the Lord. Everyone knows the Lord who's a Christian. And we don't need that anyone teach us. And the Bible says the Holy Spirit will lead us into all truth. The Bible says we can trust the teaching of the Holy Spirit and it is no lie. In the Old Testament, God resisted the people's desire to have a king because he wanted to lead them directly. And in the New Testament, that desire of his has been fulfilled. We can all get the leading and the guidance of the Lord on our own. It doesn't mean that we don't sometimes go to people for fellowship. It doesn't mean we don't listen to messages. It doesn't mean we don't read books and stuff like that. What it means is that at the end of the day, we decide for ourselves what's true. You never let somebody tell you what's true to the point that you discard what you strongly feel inside. And this is where groups like the Lord's Recovery went wrong, is they try to usurp the authority of God and give it to people. And so, again, this idea of shepherding or covering is a, an extreme view which usurps the authority of God in your life. The upshot of it is you have to know the Word. You have to get to know the Lord, and that's what He wants. If you are a Christian who doesn't ever read the Bible, who doesn't ever pray, who doesn't ever ask the Lord for guidance, then you are probably going to be off track in some kind of way. So you have to be that kind of person becomes your responsibility and you're accountable to God. That's the way accountability works. But the idea that if you don't have this covering or this human shepherd in your life, you're going to be unprotected, I would say that is a false view. So that's my view on that. I hope this helps. Thanks for listening. Take care.